The Elon Phoenix opened their 2010 football season traveling to Durham, North Carolina to take on the Duke Blue Devils. The Elon Phoenix offense was in mid-season form. His senior quarterback, Scott Riddle, connected with wide receiver Sean Jeffcoat six times for 111 yards. Elon kicker Adam Schreiner was two for three on the day, including hitting a 47-yard field goal in the second quarter. Adding to the Elon offensive output was senior running back Brandon Newsom, who had 11 carries for 77 yards and a touchdown. Facing a two touchdown deficit in the second half, the Phoenix showed great heart and determination against their FBS opponent. Ultimately, the Blue Devils proved to be too much as they defeated the Phoenix. On a stormy Saturday night, the Elon Phoenix returned home for the home opener against the Shaw University Bears. The Elon passing attack was on top of its game as quarterback Scott Riddle completed 21 of 24 passes for 244 yards and three scores, and route to becoming the most prolific passer in the history of the Southern Conference. Riddle's performance left him with 10,558 career passing yards, putting him ahead of Appalachian State's Armani Edwards on the all-time list. Sophomore wide receiver Aaron Millette burst on the scene with nine receptions for 120 yards against the Bears. The Elon Phoenix offense dominated from beginning to end as Elon gained more than 500 yards of offense. The Elon rushing attack was a contributing factor as they gained 214 yards on the ground against the Bears. The unforgiving Elon defense continued to wreak havoc and forced four turnovers on the day. Running back A.J. Harris had a stellar day as he had two touchdowns and 88 all-purpose yards for the Phoenix. Facing a 36-point deficit at halftime, the Shaw Bears fought back to make the game 55-26 as the Elon Phoenix improved to 1-1 one one on the season. In week three, the Phoenix traveled to Richmond, Virginia, looking to avenge last year's devastating first round playoff loss against the University of Richmond. Elon jumped ahead early in this one, seven to nothing behind the first of three Scott Riddle touchdowns. In a dogfight with the Spiders, the Phoenix remained composed as quarterback Scott Riddle finds A.J. Harris at the goal line to make the score 14 all at half. The Phoenix faithful were in full force as many made the three-hour trip to support the Phoenix. 
Trailing by seven points with less than two minutes left in the fourth quarter, Elon Scott Riddle led a 16-play, 79-yard drive that resulted in an Aaron Millette game-tying touchdown as time expired. The Phoenix's valiant comeback fell just short as the Spiders won it in overtime, 27-21. Five, the Phoenix returned home, reeling after consecutive road losses against Richmond and Georgia Southern to take on the Sanford Bulldogs. The Elon home crowd energized the Phoenix offense as they jumped out to a 17-0 lead, led by quarterback Scott Riddle, who had a monster day, completing 36 of 44 passes for 416 yards and three touchdowns. After falling behind early, the Bulldogs fought back as running back Chris Evans carved his way for 115 yards on the ground. In the second half, the Phoenix were able to withstand an improved defensive effort by the Bulldogs and multiple miscues by the offense to hang on and defeat the Sanford Bulldogs 24-19. With the win against Sanford, the Elon Phoenix improved to 1-1 in the Southern Conference and 2-3 overall. For the Elon Phoenix Weekly, I'm Tom Waterman.